Hello, I'm Serene Branson. Here's your CBS On The Go update. The beer is flowing as the St. Patrick's Day celebrations are underway. Thousands of people are expected in downtown LA today for the annual street festival. The party will go on all day and into the night. Police are looking for this man accused of flashing a girl inside of an El Segundo sporting goods store. Security video shows the man looking around before police say he exposed himself while staring at a 10 year old girl. They're hoping you can help identify him. And a five mile stretch of Topanga Canyon Boulevard will stay shut down through tomorrow after a mudslide early Thursday morning. The road is cleared, but Caltrans is worried more mud could come down and depending on conditions, the closure could last even longer. Now here's meteorologist Craig Herrera with a look at weather. Craig. Hey there, Serene. Yeah, we've got some uh, scattered showers moving through Southern California, starting to move on out. Uh, we've watched for some isolated showers and thunderstorms through the high desert. You got another system now moving from St. Louis over to the eastern seaboard, and right behind it, a lot of showers and thunderstorms all the way through Atlanta, down through the Gulf Coast states. This system on Saturday continues to move, moves quickly. Behind it, you got another one starts to form, so you get some more scattered showers and thunderstorms into Dallas. Meantime, up through the Cascades, the northern Rockies, more snow coming through from a couple of systems just slowly moving over the Rockies and then as we go into Monday and Tuesday you're going to see that move over through the plains and more scattered showers and thunderstorms for St. Louis. As far as travel wise for the lower 48 through the afternoon temperatures in the 40s for the Northeast. We've got uh, 47 over to St. Louis 76 in Dallas 52 in San Francisco and serene cool through Los Angeles only up to about 58 degrees. Thanks Craig. Some yoga studios are now using infrared heating to warm up their classes. Chris Martinez went to a studio in Glendale to see how the technology can help boost your health. Keep it low and pulse. At Sync Yoga and Cycle, instructor Alyssa Mann is turning up the heat in a new way. It's like doing yoga in the sun. This is infrared heated yoga, a class that uses infrared technology to warm the room. Mann says the advanced method is more beneficial to the body than conventional heat. It's amazing for your skin. It increases metabolism by raising the core temperature and it just feels a lot better. Research also suggests infrared heating may boost your immune system, reduce inflammation, and help lower blood pressure. So utilize this time. Most traditional hot yoga classes use blower systems to force hot air into the room, which can spread dust and allergens and make the air dense. Infrared heat is generated from these panels, providing a unlike warmth to the body itself rather than the air around it and can gradually raise a room's temperature to more than 100 degrees. It's a completely different ball game. Student Erica Meyer says she finds the infrared warmth more tolerable. It's warm and cozy and you just you already come into it feeling like you're can go deeper into a practice. At sync the infrared class has become one of the most popular. This infrared kind of takes it up a notch. Namaste. A different, healthier way to feel the burn. Chris Martinez, KCAL 9 News. And that's your CBS On The Go update. I'm Serene Branson. Remember, we're always on at CBSLA.com. Be sure to watch us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 p.m.